The winter stock is uh, a car I like a lot. Brings back many happy memories of when I used to work for Chrysler Jeep and uh, the PT Cruiser had just come out. It was uh, a super franchise then, good range of cars. Uh, this is a Jeep Grand Cherokee, three litre CRD V6 Limited. It's a four wheel drive, um, 2012 on a 12 plate, one owner, full leather, and a low mileage to boot, only 45,300 and it's on 20 now or something like that. Fuel economy, urban 27.4, extra urban 39.2 and combined is 34. 0 to 60 time of 8.2 seconds, which is pretty good. Top speed of 126 miles per hour out of a 215 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. Now, I'll just show you around it. We've got the, the big imposing chrome Jeep grill there. Got Xenons, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, five spoke alloy wheels. We've just had the wheels refurbed. They were just caught on the edge of a couple. So they're all like brand new. Got Michelin tires all round, power folding door mirrors. Got the roof carrier system. Again, the, the chrome trim on the side there, chrome door handles, and it's also keyless entry and keyless go. There you go. Integrated rear spoiler there, rear wash wipe, chrome Jeep badge on the back here. Nice big load area. And then rear load cover, rear seat split independently of each other in a 60-40 configuration. You've got a couple of nice touches, things to just hang you, your bags off here, power socket there, and kind of a, a brushed aluminium trim there, which a, a lot of the manufacturers don't do a whole lot in the boot or, or the, the tailgate, but this has also got the chrome bars to kind of make it slide, your, your luggage slide up easier without scuffing on the carpet. Chrome trim again, removable tow bar and uh, we've got reversing sensors here i'm not sure i think it's probably also got reversing camera but i've, I've not checked that i've got my seat right the way back and i've got plenty of room in here plenty of headroom as well seats are nice and high nice and comfortable uh, very very tidy we've got the carpet over mats in the back and this um, kind of walnut effect trim rear armrest and we've got two cup holders here I'll just take you for a ride in it it's a uh, keyless entry and keyless go that's the key although it doesn't plug into anything foot on the brake and there's a starter button there we've got a full service history let me just see if i can find it it's uh, difficult to lose really that's the operating inf information and also somewhere there's the service book in it as well uh, here we go right at the back so 28th the 8th 2014 14766 uh, that was done at Halfords and then they make it rather difficult even though there is spaces for the date and the mileage they put it up here so the date 21st the 8th 2015 21,915 miles and that's Paragon that's a Chrysler dealer you'd think they'd know where to actually fill the thing in but then it's carried on here at this uh, supercar center and uh, that was done on the 18th of the 8th 2017 at 34384 and back to the supercar center again 21st 8th 2018 40,632 so it, it as I say it has got a full service history it's a lovely car as well and uh, I, I'm not kidding I really do like these um, I joined a, a Chrysler Jeep firm in 1999 I just left the job as uh, a very very high pressure job as sales manager 
and um, I just wanted to go somewhere where I could keep my head down, work from nine till five and, and go home and, and have my days on off, no taking paperwork home. And um, I went to this place for an interview and while I was sat waiting for an interview, bearing in mind I just wanted to be a salesman, nothing else and, and keep myself to myself. While I was waiting for the interview, one of the salesmen came up to me and the sales manager was interviewing somebody else, obviously, so he, he couldn't go to him. So he came to me and asked me if I knew how to work out finance deals, which of course I did. There was no finance calculators or doing it on computers in those days. You had to do it all really by, by calculator. So anyway, I worked, I worked the deal out for him. And uh, long story short, I started at the garage the next day after the interview. They offered me the job there and then, and it, it, was, it was great. But anyway, right, back, back to the car. So this is a lovely Jeep. It's got uh, beautiful leather inside. It's finished in black metallic. We'll go for a ride. It's uh, kind of an old fashioned dog leg sort of auto gear selector, but it's okay. It's a nice big car, very, very comfortable. Typical kind of American um, design absorbs the bumps just just comfortable just sails along I, again the uh, the first day I was at uh, this Jeep dealership we uh, we had a customer on one of the ordinary Cherokees and as I say this is going back to 1999 it was probably a, a 1996 car or something like that it was a used car and uh, I jumped it in it, took it to the fuel station, put some fuel into it, and then on the way back, I just drove straight into the workshop. And uh, the first thing I always do when I start at a new firm is find the best mechanic, because he's gonna be your best friend and will get you out of trouble so many times and be, be such good help. And I'd already found this lad out, and I went straight to him, and I says, I says, there's something wrong with this, uh, this Jeep. It, it drives awful, and he said, they all drive like that. You used to drive in Mercedes Benz, and they did. He was right. It was an old kind of ladder rack chassis on on them, but these drive really well. Um, we we also had another problem which I, I managed to sort out. We could sell any amount of diesels, but they only came in manuals, and the, the only automatic you could get was the four liter, and the four liter was a gas guzzler. And we'd got to the point where the forecourt was full of four litre automatics that we'd taken in and couldn't sell them because nobody wanted to pay for the fuel. Um, and I, I had an idea and uh, I did a deal with a firm to convert them to gas to, or to LPG. And after a few weeks, we not only had we got no four litre Jeeps left, um, the, the other garages in our group had done the same thing. So that, that was the only thing holding it, the, the big ones back, the, uh, the whole buying automatics. So we managed to sort all those out and then the PT Cruiser came out and uh, we, just, we just sold those like shelling peas. Anyway, back to this car that I'm trying to sell. It, it is a lovely car. Let's just give it a bit of gas and get past this KA. There we go. I mean, that, that's not bad at all for a diesel. Its instrumentation's pretty good. Let's see, we've got headlamp wash on the outside. The, the nice chrome trims, the, the alloy wheels that we've just re, had refurbed properly, not just painted by some guy in the forecourt with an axle stand. They've been taken off dipped, painted, baked, and uh, they're, they're as new. Climate control's working nice. It's got Bluetooth hands-free and also audio streaming. We've got, it won't work because I'm going too fast, but it's got power folding door mirrors. We'll just check the door mirrors. Look over to the left. Yep, that one's working. Click the right one. Yep, that's all good. Yep, 
yep all the windows are working fine got a multi-function uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel your cruise on the right here and you've got your telephone audio controls on the left on the back there's uh, buttons on the back of the steering wheel again just at the back of here the quarters are three and I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this but that's changing the station there that's select there you go selecting it and on here I think yeah that's the volume so that's uh, that's on just on the back here so that's good let's uh, what is it? Oh. oh gosh there you go it's electrically height and reach adjustable I'm looking for a safety catch but not there it's also two position memory seats and they're electric memory seats as well and that, those are here you can set now if I just click that there you go you can set it to where I want it and uh, here we go that's lumbar support as well electric lumbar support and there you go and height adjustment Just try the cruise when we get on the motorway here with it being four-wheel drive you've got your terrain response sand and mud rock what have we got there we can't see that and sport does that say sport yes yeah, snow and sport that's uh there we go just get up to 70 right so there we are at 70 miles an hour We'll switch the cruise on and then do we have to set it yep set it by clicking the minus and then we can just click it up to 70 there we're doing two about 2200 revs nice and quiet and with the driving position you're well above all the traffic you see you see what's going on and you feel nice and safe in it and it's it's a it's a big bus Nice, nice and comfortable. Got uh, an oddman's tray there that I assume you can take out. Yes, you can, and uh, you can have two cup holders there. In fact, that that looks like a one that's big enough to take my cup. And it is so that that'll take a, a venti latte at uh, Starbucks and there's also in the door trays here there's uh, kind of a bottle holder there's plenty of room I'll um, when we stop I'll show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth audio system and how to stream music an auto dimming mirror there closing in on this uh, Prius at ramming speed there this uh, kind of old fashioned but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm old fashioned and I like it uh, with the walnut trim Center there. Wipers. Information display in the center. It's showing you what compass direction you're going in, what the outside temperature is. And it's saying engine hours there, so I'm assuming that's for perhaps um, the service. There we go. Transmission temperature. coolant temperature rev counter on the left hand side with a coolant temperature at the bottom 
your information display in the centre. That there goes my cup. Oh no, it's not my cup. It's that uh, the oddments tray. So no, not exactly sports car, but not too wallowy either. Going round corners. I, I must admit, I've been using a. Uh, I've been using a BMW 3 Series since I sold my Range Rover and uh, mo most people would love it but after using a four wheel drive for so long I hate it, um, in fact I hate everything about it, I hate the run flat tyres, I hate the cramped driving position, dropping down to get in it, hardly any room in it, feeling like, to, like it's cramped and but anyway so th th I mean this is this is beautiful this is easy driving I don't think there'll be a whole lot wrong with this but again we'll just do the uh, Grosvenor garage suspension test just loading the steering from side to side there we go yeah no no noises no creaks knocks or anything Car's perfect. And this is this is the drive that we do before we have them checked over as well and the, the mechanics check them over on the ramp but the, there are certain things that you, you can't see on a ramp or can't hear on a ramp can't replicate on a ramp and that, that's what this road test first uh, is for really to do that first and then uh, report back to the, the garage if we find anything so um, I don't think there's very many garages that will film their first ride in a car and then uh, put it on the internet for the customers to see. But we're, we're pretty um, we're pretty confident in, in in our stock. And if there is anything wrong, I, I did notice on uh, when I was filming the the drive before, I thought one of the headlamps was out. So I need to check that when I get back. But it's all it's all good. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll finish the test drive there, and just remind you to uh, click on our shop, have a look there. There's you can arrange finance, car insurance, do car checks, buy components, buy tyres, get them delivered to your door. You name it. Hopefully, we'll we'll have it covered. All all your motoring needs on the uh, link in the description and uh, some other things that you don't this is the uh, new DJI um, Osmo Action that only came out what three or four days ago I've imported one from Japan you can buy them on the site we've got the GoPros the drones we use it link, links to anything and, uh, and even clothes and Manchester United and Manchester City shops and hopefully we'll have another quite a big name coming soon which um, anybody will be able to use bearing in mind that we have we, we're up to 500,000 views a month um, and probably throughout the YouTube sites 10,000 subscribers um, and we only sell between 20 to 30 cars a month so we've got all of you lot to thank for watching these videos and uh, we are going to try and pay you back with our website and save you some money 
and make it easier to, to get some products. But there, there will be touch wood, um, a major player in the car market place joining us who will help all of you who don't buy cars off us but want to get the best price, uh, best part exchange price for, for your car. So uh, keep watching and uh, hopefully we'll have an announcement soon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.